oh my word, what isn't to like what? <laughs> about you? <laughs> He's still <laughs> my favorite fella. After a combined 200 years of living, 79 wedding anniversaries, four kids, 11 grandkids, and 22 great grandkids, Edith and Norm Warren say they harbor no regrets. I wouldn't do anything differently, no, would or. you? The Warrens still live in the same tiny Idaho town where they were born. There, we find the Weezer storefront where Norm and his father before him ran their dry cleaning business no longer bears its old marquee. The trains that used to chug to a stop at this depot now hum right by. But while the world changed and brought Weezer with it, 99-year-old Edith and 101-year-old Norm say they still see one another as the teenagers they were nearly eight decades ago. Never gone with anyone else. Edith met Norm through her friend, Norm's sister, Mabel. I knew I liked him and I made sure that I was able to be where he was. Her plan worked. They dated in high school and wed after Edith turned 19. A world war, a moon landing, and the internet later, they're still married. Only now on a planet where one exits a relationship with the click of a button. So this Valentine's Day, we asked the Warrens and others how to make love last, whether you're eight years old. Smiling at each other and working together as a team. 80 years married. Find the right fella. <laughs> Find the right woman. We do it over again. Or eight months into matrimony. Just give them all your money. Jeremy and Kylie Schlater married just last May. Awful. It's wonderful. What? Oh, it's no, it's great. <laughs> After not even a full year as a husband, Jeremy's already identified how he plans to retain that title. Just agree with the wife. Just sit still. I don't <laughs> think we're supposed to move. The Warrens never drank or smoked. They fished and boated from their cabin in McCall. They drove across Canada and visited every state in the Union. And Texas is one big state. Norm flew planes, played tennis and shuffleboard, water skied through his 80s, and rode motorcycles through his 90s say that you miss driving. It's being kind. Being compassionate to others. Pieces of glass Norm stained before his eyes went hang throughout his home. He survived a bout with pneumonia earlier this winter. As always, Edith remained by his side. She's been my lovely wife all these years. Weezers turned the high school where the Warrens met into a museum. Televisions turned their favorite shows into late night reruns. Keep a song in your heart. But as the world outside their home grew smaller, friends died, and the distance of the journeys on which Edith and Norm embarked grew shorter, always the one constant remained each other. Still, after 80 years. Be kind to them so that they know that you like them and they could like you back. We're just so excited for all the adventures that we have together. He was a wonderful, wonderful person. We had a lot of fun. I'll say.